Right, I've managed to get the uh, automatic transmission coolant hoses back in and I'm pretty sure we'll have no leaks. There's certainly brand new, brand new hose. So we've got new water hoses fitted last week. And um, there we go. Let's just have a quick look at this through the camera because I can actually see more through the camera lens than I can with the naked eye, if I'm honest with you. Let's, so, let's have a closer look. Where does that one go? Right under here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, they're okay. That's all right. And just a shorter one. And there's no oil everywhere now. So I, I do need to obviously uh, run the car, pressurise the system, get it nice and warm and see if we've got any leaks. But uh, it was it was dribbling. It wasn't spraying out before, but it was clearly dribbling for months or if not years. There was oil everywhere. And there still is oil everywhere. This, this is a real mess under here. There is a hose under here somewhere which I managed to change last night that goes round the bell housing and that had been leaking quite badly. And see there's oil everywhere, it's all dribbling off the um off the gators. I don't think it's steering oil, I think it's transmission oil that's sort of but I'll clean all this up. I mean there could be some steering leaks, but I'm not too worried, you know, if it is it is, I'll I'll deal with that. But one job at a time. But um, we've now got water hoses that do not leak all the way through and fingers crossed tra automatic transmission hoses that don't leak so we'll check out the steering hoses it is a, a bit of a mess in here um, very very greasy I'll, I'll clean that and see if the grease or the oil comes from the transmission or it is indeed steering if it was fresh I'd be able to smell it but it's so filthy I rather hope that it's just, you know, it, this is sort of transmission fluid oil that's dribbled onto the rack. But we'll see. We'll get to the bottom of it one way or the other. And eventually I'll be, uh, you know, clean all of this bloody mess up. But the car is going to need a lot of um, rust proofing and under sealing. And, you know, we'll, we'll try and address that in the coming weeks. But obviously once I stop all of these leaks, it's going to encourage the car to, these oil leaks, you know, these actually keep the car from rusting. So it gets all over the chassis and absolutely everywhere. But obviously without the leaks, the car's going to be a lot more likely to rust. So I'm going to have to get on top of this. But you know, just one job at a time. And I think that should be it for tonight. Ooh, let me just crawl out. Oh, it stopped raining. Great. Here we go. So um, I'm just going to um, I'm going to start the car up and uh, pressurise the uh, transmission and um, see if we've got any leaks at all. But I do need to uh, be able to use both hands. I can't operate the camera. I'd, in fact, I don't want to be lying under the car with it with the engine running on these ramps. If I'm completely honest with you, so um, I won't uh, I won't get this on camera. But um, let's uh, let me have a look and see where we are. 